Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mountain Entertainment. Oh, I forgot about that camera. Uh, but welcome back to Farm Simulator 17 work, and we're taking the old 6.0 for today's job. And today we're just installing a fence and gates for our buddy uh, that we built his shop and his driveway just a few days ago. So we're actually going to cut through here so we don't have to stop at that stop sign. Put it a little sneaky, but it'll get us there. Oh well. But, oh uh, yeah, so, Joseph's supposed to be coming over today, well, he really will probably already be at my house by the time this video goes up, but, we might do a video or something, we don't really know what we're gonna do yet, but, yeah, so I was actually supposed to work 4 to 10 Friday night, which is when I'm recording this, but they had too many people scheduled and I got there at 4 and they were like hey if you want to go home early you can at like 5 o'clock you told me that and I was like yep I'm going so because I was supposed to have tonight off anyways but they switched my schedule around so I got off early which works for me I still don't understand <laughs> what's going on there those I think from the last time we came up here I think was it? Uh, I don't know if it was. No, it wasn't. It was when we were building this guy's driveway and stuff. Those signals have been down since that episode. So, kind of weird, but yeah. All right, pulling on in here. All right, we'll just pull up over here. Actually, don't hit that tree. Alright, so, well, he also wants us to do some other stuff for him. Which he wants us to move his, well, I guess I need the truck. Darn it. Alright, so we need the hat app to be pulled out. And he wants a door over here, like I kind of talked about. On, nope, other way. There we go. So he can back his trailer in this way because once we put up the fence, there's not going to be much room here anyways to get a trailer in and out. So he's like, yeah, put in a door on that side and just leave that one there and I'll possibly buy something to put there. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, and he does want us to install some lights around the property. Like some light post kind of things. So, we'll be doing that for him as well. So we're putting in three gates and a bunch of fencing all the way around the property. Especially on the side which the store is on. Because he owns up to this, so... He can do whatever he wants and he'll be able to pull out from there, so. Alright, let's close this up, maybe. Okay. Alright. Just come on over here now. Okay, now for the gates that we're doing we're going to do these single gates what's a sledding or sliding oh it's a sliding okay he doesn't want that he wants just a gate like this that opens out that way perfect no oh, no it opens in he wants it to go the other way darn it okay that's a weird kind of, so we'll just spin it 180 degrees, or three, yeah, 180. Alright. The lever's on that side, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. Alright, close it up. Alright, now i got to figure out, well, let's do these gates first, over here. So we'll do one right here, and that's opening out, which I think that, I think it's opening this way, like going that way, which will work. Perfect. 
and we'll be putting one gate like that single one over here as well hopefully that's opening up the right way if not we'll change it perfect oh that's not very in line but it'll work all right now we're gonna do a privacy fence all the way down there and around that side as well because he doesn't want his neighbors to be looking at what he's doing which I don't blame him but we need to flip this around I think nope other way so it was facing the right way we gotta do this a certain way alright I'm gonna here I'll show you guys what I meant by this way like that all right so I'm gonna get most of this done real quick and I'll be right back with you guys here in a second okay guys so I'm gonna show you guys just a little last bit here I know that this fence is not gonna be very straight because there's like parts where it won't let you place them unless it's like at, a, at an angle like right here is gonna be one of those probably see how it won't let you place it there but once you get an angle on it it'll let you place it so that's a weird problem I've ran into with this and then stuff like this not wanting to line up perfectly all right, we'll just leave it like that. So as you can see, this is not very straight because of that exact same thing I showed you guys over on the other side. And then there was no way for me to connect it here, so I don't know what we're going to do there. But then this is actually looks pretty good. There's actually three here, but this one right there's the middle post it looks like. And yeah, so there's one, it goes to there, then the second one's there, to there, then the, that one's there, to there as well. I got most of the posts lined up pretty well, except for there, in some other spots, but it actually doesn't look all that too bad, or that bad, except, for, but this will give him like a way to get into the backyard if he needs to. But it doesn't look all that bad, I don't think. Alright, now for lights. We got a mod for that. I don't know where they are. I have so many placeable mods, it's crazy. But. Where? So you want these small bell lights in the corners. Like so. See, like right there, you can't place anything. But then you move over just a hair and you can place everything. It's a very weird. I don't know why it does it or any of that, but it doesn't. All right, all right, that might actually work. All right, let's see. Yep, yep. He didn't want too many because those lights do get expensive. So he just wanted a few just to light up a little, like around the property. So we got one in each corner, or we should. Well, over there we got multiple because he wants to be able to hang out in the backyard and stuff. Alright, so let's see how much room he has over here to get in or get his vehicles in and out. Because that was his one big thing about doing this fencing. Is he wanted a, much, a lot of room or enough room to get in and out. So, this he has enough room. But I bet if we try to get the 6-0 in here, it's going to be a bigger or a different story that truck doesn't like to go anywhere come on 
So there's some fences you use the num or the mouse button to open, and then you use O on some to open them, and that one's an O, or you use the O key. But his like big truck is parked, doesn't park on this side, so he shouldn't have a problem with trying to get his Chevy in here. Alright, this might be... See, I told you guys it was going to be a pain for the 6 though. Because I know my truck is a pain to get into areas. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Then we can flip it around in here if we want to. But, we don't need to. Alright, let's... Gosh darn it. Let's close this up. Alright. Try to... Maneuver ourselves around. I want to do a screenshot first. And I want the 6 0 back here. Close that on up. Oh, I got an update for my software I use for recording or uh, thumbnails. Uh, how am I going to do a picture for this? Oh, I know. Alright, I got the picture I wanted. Gosh darn it. Get rid of that. And we're gonna be out of here. Well, I guess I could have went out that way, but I forgot I did it. I thought I left this gate open, but I didn't. Come on. I'm impatient if you didn't realize. Alright, let's get on out of here. So, I'm going to end it here for today, guys. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.